Mark Condit terrorized the city for weeks back in March, but police finally tracked him down and a DPS helicopter captured dramatic video when they did. Tony Pohetsky tracked the case from the start. He joins us from DPS headquarters where he was the first Austin reporter to lay eyes on this video. This is the first major piece of evidence we are seeing in the bombing case. We got a tip earlier this week that it was going to be shown at a public meeting here at DPS headquarters. So we came to see it for ourselves. For nearly three weeks, an army of federal, state, and local law enforcement worked around the clock to find the Austin bomber. Now, they have him. Air to ground, he's on the move, backing out now. The bomber is seen leaving a parking lot, heading from Round Rock toward Austin. Coming up to 35 frontage, gonna be taking a right turn southbound. As he moves down the frontage road, still red balled at the intersection. It's unclear whether he knows an Austin police SWAT team is in the van right behind him. All right, we're through the intersection southbound, still on uh, frontage from Old Settlers. Then okay, watches the SWAT team I uses its van to knock the suspect's SUV off the road. All right, the uh, van's made contact with him. Van's made contact with him. The team runs toward the vehicle, and action police say shows tremendous heroism. Got an explosion, got an explosion inside the vehicle. The officers appear to pound the passenger's side window before the bomber ends his life with this blast. A final moment officials say put the lives of officers at risk and ended the bomber's terror in Austin. Austin police and the FBI are still investigating the bombing. Once they are done, that should allow for even more information to be released. At DPS, Tony Plahetsky, KVU News. Anthony House and Draylen Mason both died when they opened explosive packages the bomber planted at their homes. Five others were injured in other explosions that happened during the two weeks of terror across Austin.